So Blender is a really, really good 3D graphics and animation creation program that also happens to be free. Um, with such a large community, the program is constantly updated. Even out there are tutorials that can be found that you can use to teach yourself how to use the program. So let's take a look at Blender. On its interface screen at the beginning, you get a chance to select things like the manual, user communities, even change the preset, which is actually kind of nice because you can switch it over to Maya and have the uh, interface look like the Maya version of 3D creation, which would be good if you wanted to go over to learn or work at a company that had you working on Maya, you'd be more familiar. Um, but it, this is the interface for Blender's version of the program. It is 3D, as you can see. It starts out with uh, basic shapes that you can uh, extrude and change into other shapes to create your characters. There's a camera and a, and a light. And the camera and light allow you to not only position where light and reflections will be on your objects or your creations, buildings, characters, whatever, but the camera allows more um, to movement uh, in order to move around the object and have the 3D world appear. So we're going to take a look at just doing a really basic shape creation using this cube. I'm going to uh, split the cube up into four parts, extrude out a portion of the cube. You could use a shape to create other shapes as pretty much, uh, it's kind of like sculpting, actual sculpting in, uh, in the art world would be with clay or rock or anything else. So here you could have this be uh, maybe the base foot for an object or a creation even though now it's quite um, uh, geometrically rigid, you can actually get, use other tools to smooth it out and start making it look real and have it you know, look just like it would in the real world. Um, my usage of this program is non-existent. I'm just learning now. I'm actually hoping to use this program for Multimedia 3 and Regis uh, for that course in order to expand my knowledge in the 3D graphic arts and animation. So you can put other shapes in like this cone, other variations in order to start creating your uh, both your environment and your characters and other objects. The program is very high end, has all the same features that you would find in the professional tools 3D Max or Maya, uh, including, which Maya doesn't have, 3D Gaming, which 3D Max does have. So if you used 3D Max or Maya instead from the Autodesk company, there's 3D Max there, or Maya, you can actually get an educational version of their program for free. And what's nice about that is you can learn for three years, 36 months, but there's a little bit of a catch. Everything that you create is going to have a essentially a banner across it, like a watermark. So your creations are kind of limited to only in class. You can't do much else with them. Um, also, when your 36 months is over, you'll have to upgrade on your own, or start over and buy the product which is quite expensive. Tutorials are actually very um, numerous. Yes, Autodesk has their tutorials, but so does Blender. You wouldn't be left in the dark trying to figure out how to use the program on your own without even needing to take classes. All the universities are now offering courses in Blender, but you can see there's quite a bit of uh, links here <clears throat> on the tutorials page, um, training, questions, communities, even demo files, and what's kind of nice is they give you the opportunity to try some straight on tutorials how to create particular works which help to expand your knowledge in using this program. So here's some of the tutorials right through here. And over to over to 3D Max, pricing is interesting. If you want to buy either one of these products, it will cost you a pretty penny. Try $3675, $3,675 to have a copy of Max. Same price for Maya. It's a little unfortunate, it's very expensive. So even with the student version, if you used it for three months, you'd find yourself uh, in a bit of a problem when you're done trying to use the program later. You'd have to purchase it or work at a company that offers using it. Either way, I still think that Blender is a much better option. And check out the highlight reel of Blender Creations. And you might be convinced that this is a professional tool. 
and in the spirit of open source programs I decided to edit this project using Lightworks which is an open source video editor actually pretty high quality it has been used in Hollywood before in professional movies um, it's designed by editors for editors but there's a problem uh, it is not completely free you can start with a downloaded version that is basic uh, has a lot of constraints on it uh, pay for the upgraded version sixty dollars a year and then of course add more plugins which are some of them have cost uh, as for the screen capture portion of this video I used Cam Studio, which is an open source um, screen capturing software program. So from Blender to Lightworks to Cam Studio, this was a fully open source presentation.